Weekly patrol log of U-96, 29th of August 1942. On a bleak and rainy night, the BDU officer handed us our new patrol orders. U-96 is to head to sector BD-4 to BD-7 and patrol for a minimum of 2,250 kilometers to complete our patrol. These sectors are within the infamous Black Pit where our U-boats are safe from the Allied land-based air cover. The expected merchant traffic is predicted to be low, however, we will need to sink a minimum of 7,000 tonnes to complete this patrol. With the weather worsening, we head out on another war patrol. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, we're in our patrol sector B4 to B7 and we've received a transmission from the BDU which Peter is currently decoding now. Who would have believed it? A rare mission indeed. We are to find crucial technology which is being loaded on a freight to Narwick. Uh, okay, must be sunk at all costs. Predicted location 44, 10 north, 22, 26 west. I know this is getting repetitive, but there are only a, there are only two missions in this game. I think there's this mission and there's the find a lost U-boat mission. Um, I'm sure more will be coming very soon. But yes, that is our orders at the moment. We're in our patrol zone, so hopefully we can plot an intercept for the Narwick and uh, there'll be other ships around her. Indeed, here is that group, HX Convoy, 14 to 32 ships. Right, if we set up intercept for about there then. And we're racing down there at uh, um, a head standard. Oh, maybe we go ahead full. And um, see if we can get a good intercept point. Okay, as you can see, we are nearing the intercept point now. We got the radar, so we're gonna we're gonna dive down now to periscope depth. Maybe actually we'll go down to about thirty meters while they're some way out, um, so we can get a better, more accurate um, contact where they are. You know, once we go down, get them on the hydrophone, they may be up here, they may be down here, and we can adjust a little bit more. So yeah, if we set the depth for um, about thirty six no, meters, no, there we go. Meter. We'll dive down now and then take a listen on the hydrophone. Yeah, there's definitely a grumble coming from sort of between. 50 and 60 degrees off our um, starboard bow. Keep an eye on them. It may mean uh, they're coming up at a slightly different angle or it may mean they're slightly further forward. Um, but we'll keep an eye on them and see and adjust accordingly and try and get in position to intercept very soon. Okay, ships in front. Let's have a look. I'll see what he well, I can see smoke anyway. Just coming up now to periscope depth. I'm going to put the third engineer on depth stabilization. So um, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Uh, I2 is a little bit low actually. Can we um, get the electric compressor going? You can see the smoke on the horizon. I can't see anything there. Ah, there's a ship. Swedish. Well. You know what I say about the Swedes, it's always them, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a huge ship, there's two actually. We got a, um, it's like a tanker as well. So let's have a shot at this ship, if we can get a lock on. Can we get a lock? We may not be able to. Bit choppy. There she is. Oh god. Yeah, this could be a challenge today actually. The uh the sea is not being particularly helpful. Okay, got her. Right, we know she's Swedish. I don't suppose changing the nationality makes um too much difference. Uh and I think it's probably that is it a bell? Uh from what I can see we're gonna go with a bell. <laughs> it's it's a bit tricky. Speed's gonna be a bit tricky. Maybe we should do that via the hydrophone. Distance as well. Six thousand meters. Let's track on the hydrophone. We'll double check everything on the hydrophone. Oh, it's this one here. Look, we're not. We could have gone for a closer one, but 
Okay, distance there is 7,400 meters, okay. And if we get the angle of bow calculated on here, the easiest way it gives us an angle of bow of 78. So we get an angle of bow of uh, 78. We well, reckon that's probably. Oh, stop that. 7,400. Speed? Well. Oh my god, would you move map? It's gone sluggish for some reason. Uh, we can get a point. We should have the, yeah, we do have the uh, chart, that's good. So we can run it for one minute and then do a uh, a dot and we'll calculate the speed slightly differently today. As she sails so we've got her, we've got um, three others that we can potentially target, a couple of escorts as well. 30 seconds gone. Here we go. There we go, lovely. Uh, so that gives us a. What's that give us? That gives us 214 meters. Which, if we look at here, um, one minute, 216 meters is seven knots. So we'll go seven knots. Okay, seven knots. There we go. Right, let's get this set up. Seven knots. Seven thousand. Oh, it's saying it's too far. Okay, and that's going to be... Right, having a look at uh, torpedoes. We've got T3, T3, or a T3. What should we go for? Ah, oh, probably a T3 oh, is probably the best. Um, let's mark that up to about 8,000. It says it couldn't make it, but I don't believe that. It should be able to make it. Uh, and we want it to turn. We'll turn, it, turn right, and then it'll come back into the, the main throng of the uh, the ships. That's giving me a warning. I'm going to ignore it for the time being. Uh, let's fire early. Close. See how that gets on. Now, what are the other ships over here? Here we go. Uh, we've got another Swedish run there. Let's lock onto that. Bell, do we think? No. Tower. Let's get that locked in. Uh, we're going to stick at seven knots, I think. Yeah, so seven knots again. Angle about is uh, seventy-five. He says not being able to click on seventy-five. Oh my goodness! Come on! Oh please! This is such a. There we go. Oh, that's five and a half thousand meters from the hydrophone. We got that. So five and a half there. Um, Seventy. Five, perfect. Another T three. We'll get that moving a little bit further. Get you turning right as well. As soon as you're ready, we'll fire. Fire. Right. So what do we have here? Can we can we unlock that? Can we lock this one? No, we can't at the moment. Uh, waves are too choppy. Let's just get out for a second anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that an aircraft carrier? I believe it is. And a Corvette. Well, well, well. Um. Well, well, well. Can't select that tanker which is an annoying thing. So we fired at the two Swedish ships because we know Swedish ships are always the troublemakers. It seems to be the the way. I thought there was another ship here. Oh there it is. <laughs> I've been blind. Polish ship. Um no Polish Poland apparently don't have um it's not Polish, apparently. 
look Pol flag looks Polish to me. Is there another similar flag? No, I think it's Polish. But for some reason. Oh. I can't. Oh, it was just because it had military and I can't select civilian and I thought it was. Never mind. Stand down. Uh, but they do Apparently they don't have Empire class ships. Okay, fine. We'll just go with UK and then we'll pick. Um, is it the belt? It's that one, isn't it? This is an explorer. Right, we should be able to do this old fashioned. Seven knots, perfect. Uh, distance, oops. I can't quite get it. Five and a half, that sounds about right. Okay, and this is 66. 66, eight, perfect, right. Uh, so, five and a half again, 60... Uh, no, hang on. 60... Where is it? 66, perfect, there we go. Get that tracking. Meh. Uh, what do we got? What do we got to fire? We've got a T3! Wouldn't you know it? More T3s. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get that to turn left this time. Good to go. Fire. We've got T3, which... Uh, sorry, Tube 3, which is a D3. And that requires some uh, warming up. Or we could just fire it. Maybe we can get a couple of torpedoes and fire it towards this uh, aircraft carrier. Tempting, isn't it? Okay, tube one's loaded. Now I'm just keeping an eye on these Swedish ships now to see how those torpedoes are getting on. Oh, and the, the, um, the tanker's in range. I've been setting up um, for the illustrious, as you can see. But I think that tanker is probably actually better for our mission than the actual aircraft carrier. Okay, we've had one hit. Um, the one that went after that one seems to have run out of steam, unfortunately. This one, although damaged. Seems to be going on their merry way. Let's do another speed check. Uh, we'll fire another one, because if we hit them once, then uh, we don't want them to get through. We definitely want to sink them. Uh, the second, sorry, the third torpedo we fired at the Polish ship, that also missed. Obviously, once the first uh, ship was hit, um, the ships started to do invasive maneuvers and uh, no doubt have slowed down instantly as they do <laughs> he says uh, slightly frustrated all right here we go let's here's the proof of the pudding have they slowed down six knots yes they have okay recalculated what we got uh, t1 or a t3 let's get another t3 oh, heading that way um okay let's turn right Fire. Second torpedo away at that ship. Now, we might be able to have a shot at that one. Oh. Yeah, the Armyria coming straight for us. Um. I was hoping we have a T5. We could fire that straight at her. Fire. Right, where's that polar ship? Let's see if we can get one more away at her, because we've got her all calculated in. Right, we're going to set that one. Oh, it's a bit choppy. Oh, I said it's magnetic. 
aircraft taking off. Right, time to go. Actually, we'll, we'll fire both of them in dispersion. Fire. 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 <laughs> it hasn't finished flooding. Tube three away. Right. Um, crash dive. Let's go. Okay, lots of depth charges coming down. We've got three corvettes. We've got one of others now, two more coming in. Uh, one of our stray torpedoes did actually hit another ship. Not the one we're aiming at. Um, but it's uh, it'll do. So that's our first kill. I think the other one survived, didn't it? It took a torpedo hit and uh, survived. These depth charges aren't too far, but if we can get two or three of these corvettes dropping depth charges, they've got a hell of a lot of depth charges. They've got like 60 on them, haven't they? And um, yeah, they can do in parallel or cross patterns, which will make it very difficult for us to evade. One we can evade pretty, you know, pretty efficiently, but. So far, so good. Currently down here at uh, 150 meters. We might go a little bit deeper. Don't forget, there's also aircraft patrolling above as well. Got depth charges being dropped over there. Just done a turn to port, and we've gone to um, flank speed ahead. I think they're going to come straight over us, but we can we can be at flank speed because they won't be able to hear us if they're dropping. Yeah, they seem to be going parallel with us, which is good. Good. Okay, we seem to have evaded that at the moment. That's getting distance behind us. Okay, we've snuck up back to periscope depth. Where are we? Uh, oh, they're all they're all gone away. Uh, there's no one we can hit, is there? The oil tanker. Ooh, there is the illustrious. How far is she away from us now? Why? What speed she doing? We've got the distance. Which is 4,890 something meters. We're going 4,900 meters. Of course, we've got as well as 144 angular bow. Do a quick speed calculation, and uh, if we can, let's get some torpedoes heading in her direction. That'll certainly give those corvettes something to think about. And if we can cripple her or slow her down, does the escort stay with the convoy or the aircraft carrier? That's the question, isn't it? And then we can maybe um, get ahead and have a shot at the uh, 11 knots, really. Crikey. Um, what have we got? T5, perfect. T5, perfect. Fire. These may pick up something else, but... Okay, periscope down. We're going to continue to chase after her, and maybe get another T5 in her if she does get a successful hit.
Okay, so uh, we accidentally hit. So we accidentally, we didn't accidentally hit. We um, we did hit the <laughs> the Corvette, unbelievably. T5. We've got another T5. Let's see how far this one gets before. Um, there should be nothing else in the path, and hopefully, oh, yeah, we hit a T5, a T5 into a Corvette. Not the end of the world. Uh, one of them was a dud, but if we fire that one into the um, the aircraft carrier, then I certainly would like to uh, try and finish her off. If this one goes in on the course, I'll fire the second one, which has just gone into maintenance. Hi guys, yeah, that T5 has just gone off up to the wreckage. In so I don't believe that that wreckage it was deep enough that it shouldn't have heard. Now is it coming for us? Yes, it is. Oh, stupid torpedo. Right. Okay. Let's get one more T5. I have one more chance with you guys. Fire. Right. Let's... Um, Let's get down to 100 meters so this torpedo bloody doesn't hit us. God's sake. Alright, let's get moving. Welcome back, guys. So, that second homing acoustic fired at the, the illustrious. It missed the illustrious and it's now going after this ship over here. I mean, I don't know anymore. It's a miss. Well, yeah, either these T5s are absolute junk or <sighs> I don't know if it's the new technology we're using with the T5s or it's just th the game <laughs> to be honest so uh, yeah we're running out of torpedoes at this rate it's getting embarrassing now from riches to absolute nothing this week it's it's dreadful isn't it we couldn't miss last week this week couldn't hit a cow's ass with a banjo Right, let's slow that right down. We've got the angle of bow, we've got the, the rough distance. We've got this bloody thing, he's behind us now. T5 in the rear. Nothing else around. If it doesn't go for the aircraft carrier, then there's obviously some sort of voodoo magic going on. Fire. We've got one torpedo left in forward tubes and probably a reload in the rear. Yes, we do. Right, let's get down again. Let's get down to 50 meters and let's have a listen. <laughs> yeah, the torpedo's gone off there. It's, they're absolute junk. Or there's something wrong with this ship. It's not registering. The torpedoes are not registering this ship at all. This is some secret um, anti-radar, anti-noise coating they've got on that. But I just think it's probably bugged. <laughs> so we're going to give up on the aircraft, Gary. It's bugged. It ain't working. Uh, and let's see where this torpedo goes. Look, this torpedo hasn't got a clear where it's going now. Probably come back and sink us now. Happy days. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, a bit of time has passed. We've managed to get away from the convoy. As you can see, the Atlantic is absolutely horrible. Heavy rain, stormy waves coming right of the conning tower. I've kept the snorkel up just so we don't get any water coming down the exhaust, as it were. Gives us a bit of a chance to uh, run clean. Uh, and what we're doing, we're just breaking north. We're still in our patrol zone. The, um, the rest of the convoy Let's head off in that direction over there. I doubt we'll be able to see it. Yeah, the, the long gone anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually concentrate on um, seeing if we can get a resupply. Uh, we've got what one torpedo in the fore tube, one torpedo in the aft tube. Uh, that convoy is still steaming on with the Narvik, which we still need to sink. So uh, hopefully we're going to request a resupply, get an answer, uh, and hopefully there's going to be a milk cow in the region so we can... Uh, get some more torpedoes and then hunt them down before they get back to Blighty. Alarm. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we didn't get a resupply because um, uh, we didn't have a spare leader back in HQ so we couldn't redirect a, a, 
milk cow to uh, to us to our location. Um, so we had to, we just had to go with what we've got. One torpedo tube in the front, uh, full, and one loaded in the rear. Now we've got ships coming in there, but I think we just got is that the one coming behind? Yeah. So if you look at the hydrophone. This is the obviously the contacts we were chasing. There's three here, but there's one gone behind as well, which is slightly annoying. Um, so we're going to let them come on a little bit. Uh, wait till we pick them up on the hydrophone a bit clearer, and then we'll uh, calculate and see if we get these two torpedoes gone. The fact that there's only a few of them may suggest that the escort, the corvettes that we had, uh, there's three corvettes that remain, and we sunk one, didn't we? Uh, and the aircraft carrier, of course, they may not be in the vicinity, which is uh, which would be good because we could potentially use the deck gun to get a bit more tonnage and uh, paper over the cracks of this uh, pretty sketchy patrol so far. Okay, look, there's our Polish friend. And that's, I can't see the flag on that one. There just seems to be oh, smoke over there. So, okay. If we take a shot at our Polish friend here. There we go. Um, Empire Explorer. Yeah. About 7,000 meters, is that right? We'll double check that with the hydrophone. Oh god, come on, why won't you, there you go, god blimey, 6,900 meters, 7,000, there's 500 meters in it, okay, well, maybe when they get a little bit closer, we might be able to um, see if that's accurate. I'll do another speed check, because god knows what they're doing at the moment. Seven knots, apparently. Okay, she's locked in. Still a bit choppy. Um... Actually, it's not too bad. I think we'll go magnetic. T3, right. Flood that. What is the depth of an explorer? Um, draft is 8.9 meters. She seems to be sitting quite low, so... Um, we'll go 9. Hopefully that should be good enough. Uh, let's keep an eye on how it's tracking. That's got to come all the way over there. So we've got a bit of time to wait and we obviously recalculate as we go. So let's uh, just let time pass for the moment. Okay, we're getting to that point now where uh, we're probably ready to fire tube 2. Magnetic. Bring it right. Fire. No! Now, I do believe behind us there's another ship that's going past. So we might as well get our rear tube on that one. There she is. Oh, it's that tanker we've already hit. Um, uh, okay, it's not Canadian. Let's go British. Tankers, there we go. Um, Dale class. Nice. Um, distance. About 4,800. Speed, it's probably going to be seven knots, isn't it? We'll set the course. Okay, all locked in. Oh, unknown ship, obviously, we don't know the name. Uh, draft is 4.6 meters. T3, right. 4.6 Four point, uh, what was it? Sorry. 8.0, oh, so we we'll leave it at 9, that'd be fine. Fire. Lost! That is us out of torpedoes. 
So we'll keep an eye on these, see how they do, and if they get any good scores, then we potentially will pop up and uh, finish them off with a deck gun if need be. So our Polish friend, and then we've got a little Swedish friend, maybe in the one we already hit. I'm sure there was some smoke over here as well. But uh, yeah, let's see how these torpedoes get on. Okay, that looks to be in serious trouble now. Good, let's spin around and see if we can see the ship at the rear and see if we get... That is the Nav Navic. Torpedo heading towards the tanker. Are we going to have any joy here? Now the weather's calmed. It seems that things have been a little bit more forgiving, he says. To touch wood, just in case this jinxes this right now. Torpedo can't be too far away. Okay, it seems that torpedo is missed. So what we're going to do, surface the boat and the ships we can see. Try and finish them off with the deck gun. That one's pretty much gone. Uh, so what we're going to do is try and hit the tanker first. Because uh, that will be huge tonnage. Maybe go after our Swedish friends over there. And if there are any escorts down here, we can keep ourselves uh, away from them. As I say, I think I think the um, Polish ship is pretty much gone. She's not going anywhere anyway. We'll always be able to uh, come back and finish her off if possible. But uh, just confirmation, yeah, empty empty bay. has got nothing more to load. There we go. Close the range because that was going a bit silly. Now we can start putting the holes in the hull. Seeing the oil slick develop. Couple more, then we'll go switch to high explosives. Finally, we managed to get the fire going. Oh, there you go, and the oil or whatever is on board is catching fire. I can see they've abandoned the ship already, which is a good sign. So hopefully with no fast suppressant going on, they should... Uh, Fire out. How has the fire gone out when there's no one there? Unbelievable. I don't seem to be catching any breaks. Well, have they actually gone back on board? No, there's the life raft there. It's a couple of life rafts. There we go. SSAB Hammond. Didn't we sink that last week as well? It's the SS Hammond 2, is it? There goes the uh, crane or whatever it is. She's definitely lower at the rear. Lots of shells being fired, mines. But she's a big tonner, so it'll be definitely worth it. I was hoping for. A... There we go, a few more. There we go, that's what I was more as well hoping for. Yes, I think that's probably her gone there, is it? Thank God we still got the deck gun, otherwise we wouldn't got hardly any tonnage today. What, 2,000 fat tons from that NA1 which we hit randomly, and the uh, 800 tons from the uh, Corvette. I'm going to say she's gone. Right, I'm going to set course for the uh, back to the Narvik. Lovely. Another natural disaster there, look. Oh, man-made disaster. The oil slick's going to be happening in the mid-Atlantic. 
but yes, a Dale class tanker sent to the bottom. Oh, the sky's burning over there. Yeah. I'm starting to think all the little uh, bugs and stuff I'm running into, it could be because... I don't think it's because of the mods, because uh, I've tried to run it without the mods as well. I think it could be that the save game is probably... You know, it's gone, spanned a couple of versions and it's probably just slightly corrupting itself all the time. So, yeah, it, it's kind of probably... Um, not too far away from retiring his career, I'd have thought. Okay, this is the Swedish ship. We're just chasing her down. Put some holes into her stern. Stern's always the weakest part of the ship. Use what we can to try and sink her. If we need to go back and finish the um, Navig off, we can always use the uh, the, the anti-aircraft guns, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. We use all the shells if need be. Last uh, high explosive. Fire on, Fire on deck, nice. Okay, we're just going to bring up the, uh, the quad um, flat gun. that reloaded. The uh, ship, no it's not complete. Surrender! Or dance. Well, that's nice to play with. There's um, nine shells left. Huge if you've got a fire on the front. Is she listing slightly? She is, look, she's starting to go down. Go on. One shell left. She's got it gone. There's no way she's going to come back from that lean angle, is there? There goes the rear mast. Well, she's doing an amazing defying the odds to survive. There go the life rafts. Bit of time has passed and finally there she goes. There she goes. Nice. So we're going to switch around now, head back to the Narwick and uh, see if we can finish her off. Oh, is this the Narwick here? Nice. So there you go, there goes Narwick, and uh, mission complete, uh, accomplished. We'll head back to finish off that Polish ship anyway. Okay, there is the little boats. The wreckage has indeed sunk. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. So all three of those ships have been sunk. Excellent. Right, we've gone off these guys um, some supplies, or maybe we may have a couple of more spaces left for a couple of guys to come on board. Uh, we're going to go back and complete our patrol and head back to home port.
Okay, I'm back in port. Campaign objective progressed. We're up to 55,085 tons in the Black Pit. Confirmation. SS Droning Moored was sunk. Intel tells us that this ship had a registered tonnage of 2,250 tons and was transporting utilities from Halifax to Liverpool. was registered in Norway. Bordel was sunk. Registered in the United Kingdom, was carrying oil from Halifax to Liverpool. Registered tonnage of 11,880 tonnes. Langerholm was sunk. This ship was registered in Sweden, was carrying medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool. Its gross registered tonnage was 2,840 tonnes. So yeah, this, this one Norwegian ship here, this was that NA1 which we hit by random. Obviously we had the tanker now, this is the Swedish ship. So the next one would be the Polish ship, which was the Narvik. Uh, or Narvik. Um, Iron Intel tells us the ship had a registered tonnage of 5,695 tonnes and was transporting medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool, registered in Poland. That we knew. So we got 12,000 money, 66 reputation points. Tonnage sunk was 22,665 tonnes. Time, 9 days, 5 hours at sea. Distance travel, 5,357 kilometres. Wow, that oil tanker really did help um, boost our tonnage to uh, make this patrol worthwhile. Because without that, it was looking really poor. Uh, CSS droning moored. The NA-1 was sunk um, by chance more than anything else. A stray torpedo. But we'll take it. Also, the Isles Corvette sunk by a torpedo. Uh, we don't get registered tonnage for that. Uh, the Bordel Dale class tanker, 11,880 tons. Thank goodness for that. Uh, then we've got the Empire Bell Langholm and the Narvik Empire Explorer. All sunk. Find the Narvik, sink the Narvik, travel the designated marked area for 2,250 kilometres. Done. Sink the enemy trade ships with 7,000 tons. We did it. 22,665. Good. Right. I think next time what we'll do is we'll use some of our command points to up um upskill or or uprank some of our personnel in port so we can get a couple more leaders uh into the HQ and that way we can uh control where our resupply submarines will go uh so we may be able to do an Atlantic crossing over to the Americas which would be quite exciting so yeah, that's probably what we're going to do in the background. Next time we may hit the Black Pit once more, or we may chance heading all the way over to America if we can do so. And so we'll leave it there. U-96 has finished her patrol for this week. Uh, managed to secure more fortune than anything else. 22,000 plus tons. Um, not too shabby at all. So we're going to get resupplied, uh, refueled, and we'll get some of these guys... Uh, ranked up, promoted into a, an officer class, into HQ, so we can get some more uh, control of our resupplies. And then we may do a more interesting mission next time. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope this hasn't been too frustrating. I found it very frustrating. Um, so sorry if that's come across in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw. And if you have, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.